You! What is up, everybody? And welcome back to another Madden 19 Ultimate Team game. I'm very excited about today's video because we have an all New York Giants theme team that is an 87 overall as you guys may know the new york giants are my favorite football team so i decided to build just a full giants team you guys see the chemistry 50 out of 50 even the giants balanced offensive chemistry all of that helps saquon barkley and odell get the juice stats that they have we have eli at the quarterback i believe in eli he's 92 overall most importantly gets the conductor trait so even though he's got absolutely no mobility stats on that car are not too bad we kind of cheesed they got herman moore on the team He's mainly known for being a Detroit Lion, but he once was a New York Giant, so he gets the Giant chemistry. We have Jeremy Shockey and Evan Ingram at the tight end spots. The offensive line leaves a lot to be desired. The Giants have not had great offensive linemen come through the last couple of years, so as a result, we still have Eric Flowers at right tackle because there's no other Giant to put in that position. The defense, there are definitely a lot of strong points, very strong points, and a couple of weak points. Landon Collins, 96 overall. You guys saw Alex Ogletree at the middle linebacker spot. He's a 93 overall, I believe. Maybe even 90, yeah, 94 overall. And his physical stats are pretty impressive. This is going to be the card I'm going to try to use her mostly. 89 speed, 93 acceleration. He has like over 90 jumping. So he should be a fun card to try to use her out. Some of the linebackers are a little bit weak. We have BJ Goodson in there. But then you go to the right outside linebacker. And Lawrence Taylor is just looking at you. 97 overall. But with Sprinter, I don't even think Sprinter's activated on in this lineup he has 94 speed 97 acceleration like these are just insane stats he should be pretty much unguardable as you see curtis riley up there secondary is looking okay we have janoris jenkins and we have drc and then the interior we have a couple of beasts we have snacks harrison linvaugh joseph a couple of a couple of former giants who do still get the giants chemistry and then michael stray and of course we have to get the gap on our team there are a couple of former New York Giants that I wanted to have on the team, but couldn't because that would prevent us from getting the 50 out of 50 Giants chemistry to get the full boost on the team. Like, I wanted JPP on the team badly, but he doesn't even have a good card right now. I wanted Justin Pugh and Weston Richburg to help out the offensive line. Couldn't really do that. We did end up squeezing DRC into the lineup since, you know, it did help our cornerback spot pretty well. Otherwise, uh, BJ Webb or BW Webb would have been the number two guy. And that's not what we want. So DRC's got some speed out there. And here we go into a game. Our top three players looking pretty nice. It looks scary when you see it at first. But then you realize that this team is actually an 87 overall. And overall wise, not that good of a team. So to win the game, we're going to have to play... Uh, pretty lights out here. Right, we're gonna have to be pretty locked into this one as you see this guy's got Donovan McNabb the gauntlet McNabb He's rolling way outside the pocket But is able to make the throw to Jimmy Graham for the first down at midfield and he's got Todd Gurley Man, I hope the rush defense is good because that should be the strong point of our team as he goes up high over DRC to Jerry Rice and Rice is in the end zone Even though we have Dominic Rogers Camardi his coverage stats aren't the best It's still better than BW Webb as we have obj returning the kick but still we'll be giving up major gaps like that on the defensive side of the ball as we hit jeremy shockey we have a couple of fun weapons to throw the ball to we have odell we have herman moore we have saquon out the backfield shockey and ingram up high there is herman moore over the top tackled by shazier after a mega gain eli manning off to a nice start in this game rolling out the pocket really want to throw that up high to herman moore but a little bit of bad route combination right there him and saquon ended up in the same area as obj nearly comes down with one spectacular grab as we hit Saquon Barkley out the backfield and Barkley all the way to the five yard line next play it's the same play because he calls the same defense and it's the same result Saquon Barkley except this time it's a touchdown we might have to go blow for blow with this man and he, he has Deion Sanders returning the kick only to the 18 yard line special teams also going to be a little bit questionable and there's that pass rush we need that pass rush to be good Damon Harrison not known for you know getting sacks more so known for stuffing up the run still got immediate block here right there third down in three that is Todd Gurley going outside and that spin move is actually going to prevent him from getting the first down it is fourth down in inches he comes out in a goal line offense here it's not a QB sneak it's actually a pass and it's going to be a completion you don't see this one every single day and especially when it works McNabb is four for four passing and back to the pitch game he goes to Todd Gurley who is in an absolute box but is able to juke away from three defenders second down to five he actually comes out passing with McNabb in the corner for Rice 
nice, but Rice is actually not able to get both feet in bounds, so that's going to be incomplete. Third down, he comes back with the same play. We make a little bit of an adjustment. McNabb has space, gets it off anyways, and once again, we have a fourth and short. This time, a fourth down and one. This time, he's going to pitch it to Todd Gurley, and Landon Collins closes in and makes the open field tackle. It is so valuable to have a safety like Landon Collins with the speed and the physical traits as we call a screen pass to Saquon Barkley and Barkley's got a first down spinning and look at Saquon Barkley into the end zone with the Giants chemistries this Saquon Barkley is a beast and this isn't even the newest Saquon Barkley. I recorded this before it came out with Sa the new Saquon Barkley and Jeremy Shockey on, I believe, Friday. And I'd Saquon's a 94 overall. He would be, like, maybe a 96 or 97 in our lineup as he goes to a wide open Todd Gurley. That's going to be incomplete. McNabb's first real bad pass of the game. Second down, rolling out the pocket. And pressure coming. Still gets it off to Todd Gurley, unfortunately. Lawrence Taylor in coverage. They kind of did Lawrence Taylor dirty with his coverage stats, man. He was better in coverage than uh, EA lets you know as he's got... Jerry Rice once again on that left side there's just too many holes in his defense right now he quickly moves to the six yard line rolling out with McNabb and that's gonna be intercepted by Alec Ogletree what vertical from Alec Ogletree who's off to the races and Ogletree there he goes gotta beat Todd Gurley to 30 the 20 the 10 and he's gonna make it coast to coast goes Alec Ogletree for the pick six and forcing the rage quit. I didn't think we would be able to jump that high to get that, but Ogletree is a monster in this lineup. With the chemistry boost, you know, a couple of guys really do stand out. Ogletree, Saquon, Odell, even Herman Moore. It helps out Eli Manning a lot. So even though we are an 87 overall and we do have a lot of deficiencies, the top end cards are very, very fun to use with these chemistry boosts. So we hop into another game here. We're going against what looks like a Broncos fan who has Patrick Mahomes, a division rival. Interesting choice as that is going to be caught by Thielen off of the deflection. And Thielen gets a big gain again the 24 yards when it looked like we might have had the interception with bj goodson so that was very unfortunate one thing i want to ask you guys is if you guys want to see any more theme teams like this they're very expensive to make so i don't know how many of these i can make before i just go broke because as many coins as i have in my account like these are just so expensive especially you try to power up cards as we get the sack from snacks up the middle fourth down to 20 that's gonna force the punt and check out this heads up play by odell beckham jr that is a touchback and we didn't and touch that ball it might have been down that like the five or six yard line as we have a wide open herman more instead we get the ball at the 20 get a gain of 23 we're moving well here looking for more once again it's covered we still throw it up high where only more can get it elon manning what a great throw right there unfortunately herman Moore just not able to make that catch is saquon i try to hurdle him right there but that's ronnie lot he puts him in the ground and that might have cost us a first down third down and one going to more and herman Moore is definitely a reliable receiver even as tall as he is, he is catching pretty much everything we throw to him right now as he sends the blitz. It gets home right away. Nothing open. We throw it away. Second down with time going down low to Saquon Barkley with the spin move. And Barkley, once again, I'm trying to go up high, man. Saquon has like 95 jumping. I'm really trying to make a highlight play as we go to Saquon wide open. Barkley out the backfield getting a ton of catches. Not exactly carries. That takes us all the way to the one yard line. We actually call a hurry up right here. Looking to pass. Looking for Beckham in the back of the end zone and you knew OBJ was bound to make a big play and there he is what is that the doggy he's doing out there I see you OBJ that's the first points of the game and looking okay right now but here comes Philip Lindsay on the spin move and Philip Lindsay is gonna tie the game right back up by getting a kick return for the touchdown Oh, man, I told you guys special teams was... Okay, this is just a little bit too questionable for the special teams. Why did nobody want to return that ball? Now we got our silver fullback out here, only returning it to the 12-yard line, so... That didn't work out too well as we go downfield for Beckham, but that is double covered and intercepted by Ronnie Lott. As he sends pressure at us, that prevents a little bit of a problem because... I mentioned it before, the offensive line is not too good, especially that right side where Eric Flowers is as, I don't know what in the world happened to Janoris Jenkins right there. He got block shedded by the tight end, and that's going to take him all the way to the 19-yard line. Next play, Ricky Williams, easy run, and he's going to beat Curtis Riley to the end zone and grab himself.
himself a seven point lead this time obj is ready to return to kick looking to bounce this one left side back up bouncing off one man but eventually tackled at the 23 yard line so yeah if you guys want to see more theme teams let me know any suggestions on potential theme teams as we look for beckham again but that is just swatted away by chris harris jr next play he sends the blitz we're gonna go one more time downfield for odell beckham jr making the catch all the way to the 18 yard line with the boost odell is pretty damn fast as we go to barkley underneath and that is gonna be intercepted interesting ea saquon barkley let it bounce off his helmet and he gets the interception the deflected balls right now are not really going our way and i think that's an understatement so we were in the red zone and we turned it over for no real reason and now here he is running the ball with say our um, ricky williams right here out the two minute warning just getting it over ogle tree you guys saw how high ogle tree can jump right there but apparently not high enough to snag that away from adam thielen as he's just chewing clock right now interesting here he's trying to make this the last drive of the first half and he just continues to run the ball with ricky williams getting away from a couple of giant defenders not able to make the tackle in the open field third down and four he chews clock again and he gets the first down with ricky williams Williams down to the 20 yard line but now the clock's starting to become a little bit of a factor and he's gonna call hurry up Brad and calling one of his three timeouts here a little bit interesting here as the clock continues to chew 22 seconds left he's handing it off to Ricky again oh man Patrick Mahomes with the quick recovery after Ogletree blew that play up as Lindsay spinning breaking the tackle and finally Philip Lindsay down at the 15 yard line this is quite the battle of rookie running backs right now seven seconds left he goes down low to Lindsay uh, just kick your field goal, dude. That's what you really want at the end of the day. An ultra-conservative uh, play-calling sheet by our opponent right here. He just really just ran the ball. Ricky gave the ball to his running backs. Almost like he was scared to go downfield. Gets his field goal at the end of the day. We do get ball coming out of half, but unfortunately, no matter what we do on this drive, we cannot tie the game or take the lead right here. The only thing we can do is just control our own destiny and try to score and score as quickly as possible and Saquon Barkley wide open. That's going to be a first down. Throwing to Saquon Barkley is pretty fun, so I like doing it right here, but this time we go to Beckham. Beckham taking a big, big hit from Steve Atwater. Second down, a rare rushing attempt for Saquon Barkley, and that's why we don't really run the ball. A one-arm tackle when it looked like it was all secure. Third down into Eli stepping away. Gotta make a throw on the run, and Eli Manning, I believe even Eli what a dime who said Eli Manning can't roll out the pocket looking like Michael Vick throwing to the left that's gonna be a false start looking for the screen pass the Barkley but look at that defensive tackle just sitting on it beautifully the Dominican Sue sniffs it out second down and 16 Eli's got time in the pocket just gonna throw it to Barkley with the spin move carrying Broncos to the five yard line that makes it a third down and manageable is Eli Manning looking to pass to Saquon Barkley and Saquon Juan is in, reeling in a touchdown, closing the gap down to three points as we squib kick the ball after his earlier kick return with Phil Lindsay. Don't really feel like taking any chances right now. We really need to stop from our defense, but you know what? Even if he gets a field goal, that's cool. I just don't want him to chew clock, and I don't want him to get a touchdown as he runs the ball with Ricky. And this is why I really don't want to see him. Just running the ball with Ricky time and time again, and Lindsay was able to spin away. And what I thought would be the strength of our team, the number one strength, our rushing defense, seems to be our number one weakness mainly because we cannot make open field tackles on these running backs thanks to the spin move of madden 19 and with our opponent just purposely chewing clock we are already in the fourth quarter of this game and look at the blocks ricky williams gets the follow before he's big hit clock continues to chew only 326 left in the game now we really need to stop and at this point just we give up a touchdown the game is pretty much over well how much time this drive is taking as he goes one more time the ricky absolutely blown up by strayan the gap covers the gap big third down he's looking to pass rolling out with mahomes across the body and he's got the first down to mike evans that hurts that chews the clock down to the two minute warning now we gotta start using our timeouts ricky williams nowhere to go vernon makes the tackle second down and 15 it's lindsey on the handoff and lindsey brought down good open field tackle once again third down and 11 and mahomes is looking to pass to try to dagger the game mahomes rolling out the pocket he's gonna try to take it himself but ogletree closes in quickly forces the slide our final timeout gone the kick is up the kick is good but that brings Eli Manning to the big stage down by six. Eli is 
He's born for these moments. This is what he's made his career on his own. Dell Beckham Jr. with the spin move. What a return by OBJ. He splits the defense. Oh, Dell Beckham Jr. Touchdown. The PAT by Aldrick Rosas for the lead. Up and good. How about Oda Eli Manning? Take a chill pill. OBJ's got this. We still need to play defense. We're only up by one point and we kick it deep. The Philip Lindsay, first things first, need to tackle number 30, trying to spin, but we contain, bring him down to 32 yard line, minute 25 left. He starts out passing with a screen pass and he's actually gonna get a completion here. A nice little gain to Jimmy Graham, a gain of four, does stay in bounds right here, so the clock chews and I don't really want the clock to chew right now. I don't want to get in field goal range and just kick a game-winning field goal. We really need to tighten up here and hopefully he passes the ball, which he does. He's looking. He's rolling with Mahomes. Here comes Ogletree on the tackle, bringing down Mahomes inbounds. No first down. It's third down and two. 49 seconds left in the game. Mahomes rolling, throwing, and intercepted by Alec Ogletree on the spin move. There goes Alec Ogletree celebrating early. Alec Ogletree. Dang. Is one nasty touchdown. The all Giants team is playing out of their minds. They are making me lose my mind right now as we are looking to dagger the game right here now. Two point conversion to make it a two possession game is intercepted by Shazier and we touch him down and it's still a seven point game. Not really anything lost right there besides the fact he doesn't have to go for two if he doesn't want to as we sky kick the ball to Franco Harris and what I thought was a pretty sound strategy. Still get some great field position to the 43 yard line. Still has all of his timeouts intact right here, but he's got to press. Now he needs a touchdown as opposed to the last drive. And that is going to be incomplete. Great coverage by DRC. Second down play action. Mahomes rolling out the pocket. Quarterback spy in his face. He's going downfield trying to get it all. And he gets nothing but Landon Collins. Landon Collins does not end the game just yet. We do need a first down. He still has all of his timeouts. Saquon Barkley says, G, G. What a run for the first down. Barkley down to the 32 yard line. He doesn't even bother calling those timeouts. And that is the game. What a comeback victory by the old Giants team. Odell, what a clutch return. And that pick six by Alec Ogletree was something else. First of all, the vision to read the play that he ran on the earlier third down that he got, levels, throw across the body, realized it at the last second, got the interception, and then the return. Oh man, the return. You gotta leave a like on the video for that return. Ogletree balled out. Look at these stats, man. Oh, that was so much fun. Like I said, you guys want to see more theme teams? Let me know. I might play one more game with this Giants team. Actually, I already did play one more game with the Giants team. You guys will see you soon. But leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys next time. What a game.